Hello everyone. Um, in this video, we are going to talk about how to split payments made on payment pages. Uh, so in a previous video, we met, discussed uh, sub accounts, uh, which is Paystack's way of allowing you to create uh, an account that receives a part of a payment uh, based on your uh, arrangement based on a split arrangement here so we're going to talk about how you can include uh, this split payment feature uh, in your payment pages so here is what in the video about the sub accounts we talked about how we are we want to receive money on behalf of this uh, school PTA so we're going to jump straight and create the page where the uh, school PTA members are going to be making payments and we are going to include the split payment feature uh, that allows us to split the payments that are made on this payment page between our own Paystack account and the school PTA sub account. So I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. So select uh, one-time payment. If you don't know about split payment uh, payment pages already Please uh, watch the video on payment pages. It's in the description. The link is in the description below. So here we're going to name this school PTA, PTA payments. Uh, you, can, you can describe this or leave it blank. So we want to charge a fixed amount. So the school PTA levy is 5,000 naira. And we want to collect phone numbers. And then so we click on this advanced option here show advanced option and scroll all the way down to split payments with a sub account and so we want to select the school PTA's uh, sub account so as you can see the school PTA gets 90% and you get 10% all right so once we are happy with this uh, we can just click on create and so the page is created so Ideally, what is going to happen here is that the link to this uh, payment page is going to be shared on, uh, say, the school's WhatsApp group or on the school's website or something so that the members can visit this link and pay. And this is what it's going to look like when they visit. So let's say Mr. OB wants to pay right now and his email address is mr at ob.com. Uh, and his phone number um, great uh, so once once they make the payment you're going to notice I'm going to show you on the dashboard how uh, the payment uh, is now split between uh, the owner of the account that is this uh, account here B and Sons Limited and the sub account that was created for the school, which was the school PTH sub account I showed you in the beginning of the video. So once we go to transactions here, this is the latest transaction, 5,000 Naira by Mr. OB. Uh, when I open the video, you're going to notice that the school PTA gets 4,500 Naira, which is 90% of 5,000 and your account it gets 325 naira now your account is supposed to get 500 naira uh, which is 10 percent of uh, 5,000 naira but pay stack transaction charges is de deducted from your own uh, fee with your own amount or your own share of the uh, payment uh, so this sums up to 500 naira so by default pay stack uh, transaction charges are deducted from your own share of the amount so while we're creating the payment page you may have noticed that there was an option uh, so i'm going back to the payment page now there was an option for allowing uh collecting a fixed amount so here's a flat deduction so what this is is assuming that your agreement with the school says you know what, I don't want uh, a percentage. I just want a flat 200 Naira or a flat 
1,000 Naira for each payment um, and then you get the rest. I don't care how much you want to collect. I want to take a flat fee or a flat deduction of 1,000 Naira. I come and I edit this payment page. In case you don't know how I got here, I just visited the payment page and I clicked on edit page and I enter 1,000 Naira. Now notice that as I entered 1,000 Naira, the percentage uh, values here disappear. So this means that the 1,000 Naira deduction overrides the split percentage. And then I update. So we're going to attempt to make another payment uh, right now. So here now is uh, Adekunle Shiroma. So Adekunle at Shiroma.com. This phone number is 00. And he makes his payment. So once we complete this payment now, uh, you are going to notice that the way that the money is, uh, the way that the money uh, is split is different from the last one. So you go to a different issue of mass payment, and you notice that a flat one thousand naira was deducted from the five thousand naira, and base tax transaction charges were subtracted, and that leaves your own account, your own pay stack account with 825 Naira. So like we mentioned in the sub-account video, once Paystack wants to settle, the next day, all the monies that accrue for the school PTA is going to be paid directly into the school PTA bank account that we entered when we were creating the sub-account, right? And then all the money that, the remaining that accrues to you uh, is going to be paid into your own bank account uh, using your payment schedule. Uh, so all this 825 Naira, everyone, all the money in your account, uh, on this section, your account, is going to be paid into your bank account. And then all the money in this school PTA is going to be paid into the school PTA bank account that we created. So thank you so very much for watching this.